Hello all, welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige and I am drinking vodka and Sprite today. It's almost gone. <laughs> um, I wanted to quick say a few words really fast before we jump into the craft. Um, I know everyone's stressing out about this coronavirus thing. Um, and you know, I just hope that you guys are all staying safe, being smart, washing your hands, um, working from home if you can, uh, taking the social distancing thing seriously. And I just hope you guys are all doing well. Um, it can be stressful, you know, and uh, I'm stressed out. So I'm hoping that this craft uh, helps, helps you guys as well as myself. So let's jump into the craft. I've got some I've got some wooden kitchen utensils. I have a variety six pack of multiple tools and the craft today, I have seen this on many different platforms, Facebook, Instagram, um, Pinterest. We're going to be resining the handles of them and making them look a little less like just drab wooden utensils. So if you guys are excited for that, or if you just want to watch me make them <laughs> stick around. So, like I said, I bought a variety pack. It's got six kitchen utensils. Just came from Amazon. Uh, it wasn't very expensive. I got a, uh, they're already pre-sealed. That seemed to be the easier option than um, ones that are untreated, you can get those if you want, but I read some recommendations that you need to like coat them in oil. It just seemed easier to get the ones that are already pre-sealed, pre nice and shiny. Um, and like I said, those weren't very expensive. Um, and what I did first was I painted the handles of all of these. Just kind of long enough that uh, my hand, like it's a pretty decent length for a handle. Um, and I just used painter's tape and white acrylic paint, put on a single coat, um, just so I have some kind of base. It's pretty much the same as if we did an acrylic pour or uh, like Dutch pour that I don't want the canvas or I don't want the wood spoon to show through the resin. So. I preemptively painted all of my uh, spoon handles, utensil handles, with a just quick coat of white acrylic paint. Um, I think this will kind of help the design or the colors of the resin show up a little more. We'll see. Um, all right, so my first few things is uh, I'm going to find a way to keep these utensils nice and flat when you balance them on the table like you can tell these aren't they're they're spoons they're not perfectly flat so I think I'm going to be taping the the handle kind of flush to the top of a cup so it keeps the utensil nice and flat and the resin won't be running off in any crazy sort of direction um, secondly I should mention that I am doing this in like two steps, sort of. Um, I'm doing each of these utensils in half. So I'm going to block off the length of my handle, kind of the same when I painted it, just with some acrylic paint. And then I'm gonna go around the edge and tape about halfway. I think if I were to not tape, the resin would flow off the edges and make like little ripples, you know, from where it would drip off the edge. And I don't, we don't want that. We want a nice flat wooden handle or well, resin handle. And so I'm going to block off with painter's tape around the edge so the resin will flow off and not be stuck to my utensil. And then once that side has cured, we'll flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. So that I'm hoping will keep all of the resin nice and flush 
on the surface, not angled, taking precautions here. So we're gonna go ahead and set up that first. So I have all of my utensils laid out nice and even. Like I said, I kind of uh, assembled a weird way to like make all of the utensils nice and flat. I used a, uh, an actual level and for some of them, I had to like put something in to kind of prop it to make it a bit more even, but they are all even. They are all taped down and taped up. <laughs> um, anyway, they've got uh, the border from where the white ends. And then I also, you probably can't see it very well up above, but from the side, I taped around the edge. So we are gonna start with some resin. I am using the same total boat resin that I do or that I have in uh, many of my other videos. And I have some powder pigments um, that were picked out. I've got black pearl dry. I don't know what dry means, but black pearl dry, aquamarine, winter, which is kind of like a silvery, like a grayish bluish color, and then lime green. And a nice little uh, surprise and also test to see how these work out. I got some glow pigment and I added a little bit of the, uh, it's called pear, oddly enough not called lime, but it's called pear and I just kind of threw that in a little bit. We'll see how, you know, if it comes out bright, if it doesn't show up at all, we will see. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add my resin all into one cup, mix it up nice, and then distribute it into all of these cups. And I'll come back to you guys when uh, we start like actually adding the resin to the spoons. All right, so all of my resin is mixed up. This one's just empty, but these colors look so cool. So I'm gonna actually use my popsicle stick to kind of help me drizzle stuff on. So I'm not just like dumping resin everywhere. So we're gonna put some I'm gonna kind of do it like I don't know, sloppily. I want these to kind of like sort of all blend together, or not blend together, but kind of like marble. Here's the blue.
Let's see what else needs more blue. Here's the, we're going to start on this end first. And then our green. The uh, glow in the dark pigments kind of seem like a little crunchy. Like, I don't know, they don't feel like they want to mix as well. And now I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun and kind of blend it all out. They look super cool to me. I'm gonna use some of my leftovers to like try to get the sides a little bit better. finding that even though I touched like I kind of went over the edge with all of these um, they the resin doesn't really want to stick to the sides very well so it will gloss it but most of the colors are all gonna end up staying on the top so the last of my colors, all of my resin on these.
All right. So all my colors are used up. I'm also finding that like where the holes are, it's kind of also running through. So I guess note for if you guys do this, or if I do this again, that maybe taping up the uh, the holes in the handle would be a good idea. All right. So other than that, all of my sides have been hit. Um, so they're at least going to get a little glossy. Like I said, I don't think the color's going to show up very well on them. But on the bright side, that is another reason to uh, to pre, what are the words? Put a, uh, a coat down before you start the resin um, because it'll kind of, I think it'll kind of make it like a little gray, but the white, like, like I said, ugh, words are hard. The, uh, the resin will gloss over top, but I think the under color is gonna show through so it's gonna look mostly white on the sides. But as far as the tops go, I think this looks super cool. Um, they blended really well, but also you can see all the different colors, the silver, the green, the blue, and some of the, the darker, like, what was that, pearl gray, dry or whatever um yeah i think they all look super cool and i'm very excited to do the other side once these are mostly cured so we'll be coming back to these once they're uh this side is dry in order to do the other side okay guys so it's been 24 hours since i did the first half of all of my utensils and they are mostly dry um, but I have removed all of the tape off of them, re-taped them up so I can do the second side, and we're just going to speed on through it because it's going to be pretty much the same thing. So I'll show them to you all nice and up close when they're done. finished tools. These handles are totally dry now. Got all the tape removed and they look so cool. This is what I meant. I guess this is how the sides turned out. Um, like I was talking about the resin kind of did not want to stick totally to the sides. Um, you can see the white color coming through, which is fine. Um, if you guys don't want this look at all, uh, I might suggest like just curved handles, like maybe not ones that are so rectangle, maybe ones that are just kind of like sloped on the edges. but. It's just the sides of them. The tops of these and even the back look super cool. And then there's the last one. They look so cool with all these colors all marbled together. They all kind of look similar, but they're just slightly different and I love it. And I'm pretty positive this green glows in the dark. So I'll give you guys a nice clip of, uh, of what that looks like. I'll have to like charge it by holding it up to a light, but I'll see if they glow. So that's super exciting. Here they are. So thank you all for sticking around and watching my video. 
Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I've got all my li links down below. Um, got Facebook, Instagram, uh, PayPal. I started um, posting some items for sale as well on my Facebook group, so maybe give that a check out if you are interested. And I will see you all for the next video.